Hi Notion is. Today I'm going to show you a quick demo of my new app which enables you to translate the databases in a Notion template from one language to another. So if you've seen a template from a creator and you would rather use it in a different language or if you're a creator and you want your customers to be able to use your templates in their preferred language then this is going to make life a lot easier for you. All you need is an internal integration token or API key and then access to this form, which I'm showing you here. Once you've entered your API key here and then chosen the language that you're translating your template from, as well as the language that you're translating the template to, all you need to do is hit submit. Wait a couple of seconds and if we scroll down the page here, you can now see that this uh, task database has been translated. The name of the database has been translated. So have the names of the properties. And this is a select property here, but this will work with a multi-select property as well. We can see that we've translated the different drop-down options in this database as well into Spanish. So we're ready to start using this template in our native language. To get set up with this app, all you need to do is generate an API key uh, and I've included a link to my tool which you can use to do that very quickly uh, in this guide here. So you can just click on this link and that's going to enable you to create the API key. I would recommend making a copy of your template uh, and then translating the copy just in case anything goes wrong with the app. Nothing has so far, but at least that way you know that uh, you've always got a backup version if you need it. You then need to share a copy of your template with the integration. So if we go back to my task page here and open this database in full page view, then we go to connections. You can see I've got a few connections that are linked to this page at the moment. It's the template translator one though that uh, is the integration that I actually used for the translation just then. Um, and so you just need to add connections, select your integration, which would be the name of my app here, um, if that's what you've used to create the API key. Um, and then you're ready to go there. Uh, I should mention you should never share your uh, API key in the way that I did at the beginning of this video um, publicly. I'm going to refresh that token in a second, so uh, that won't be available for anyone to use. Um, but just treat that like a password and store it somewhere safe. And then once you've done that, just open my Notion uh, page. You will see uh, this form at the bottom of the page here and enter your API key, the language that you want to translate the template from, language you want to translate it to, which is you've got a choice of 133 languages there. So uh, you're definitely going to find your language and then click submit and it'll work exactly the way that I showed you in the demo, whether you have one database or several in your template. So nice and easy to use. Uh, if you have any questions, though, just let me know in the comments and stick around because I'll be sharing lots more apps and automations like this very soon.